When I was young, I didn't really have any romantic aspirations. All I wanted to do was travel the world. And I kind of thought by about 28, I would be just magically married with children. Um, and it took quite a, quite a bit longer than that for it to happen. The way Ruth and I met, as I recall, as I was just come off of two years on active duty in the Army after 9-11, and I was working as head of security and the chief medical officer for this reality TV show down in Jamaica. And of course, you know, I'm responsible for the crew and the cast and the host, hostess. So I was expecting a big royal pain in the butt. And then the first time I saw her, she was walking down the little pathway there in our little tropical setup, smelling the flowers, bouncing around, and somehow or another she knew my name and she said, Hi, Hawk. And I gotta say, I just got all squishy inside. And that's what I recall from the first time that I met her. I have no recollection of that at all. <laughs> we kind of got it together one night after, um, after the drinking competition. 17 tequilas. I've got um, pet turtles at home. And so Mike would woo me <laughs> by bringing me lizards. Bring me little lizards and he'd put them to walk across my shoulders. And then he'd bring me, he'd catch me tiny little frogs and bring them round to me. And big hairy caterpillars. And he'd always be carrying this huge machete so he could hack his way through the jungle. And um, he'd uh, knock on the door, brandishing this machete with a little tiny hairy caterpillar on it, just for me. I think it was after six months, he kind of intimated to me that um, he wanted to marry me. And I was just in seventh heaven. It's quite funny when I first told my mum and dad about Mike. Um, I'd been away for four months at this point, been away from home, and I'd been given this instruction by my mother before I left, don't you hook up with anybody. And um, she knew the show had finished a month previously, and she just wanted to know where I was. I'd kind of disappeared off the radar, and they were a bit concerned. And I phoned up and I said, um, I've kind of fallen for somebody. And I had to say, well, he's just come back from Afghanistan. He's, um, he's in the US military, special forces, operative. And I could just hear my mother thinking, oh, God, she's hooked up with Rambo. Well, the proposal wasn't conventional either, because um, Mike had just been working out in Mexico. And I'd gone out to join him. And on Mexican Independence Day, we think <laughs> we conceived our son and we decided that we'd already thought we were going to marry perhaps the following year um, but then something else happened which sort of accelerated everything mm. I was pregnant and it looked like Mike was having to go to Iraq and so we thought we've got to get this sorted quickly because you know it's a serious situation the actual proposal I was pregnant I would I had just dreadful morning sickness. I also had flu. Mike also had flu, and he, just, he said to me, come up to the roof terrace, just come up to the roof terrace. And I thought, oh gosh, that's the last thing I want. And he said to me, my life's just about perfect at the moment. I'm with a beautiful woman, and she's having my baby, and it couldn't get better, apart from perhaps if you'd marry me. And he tended to drop something on the floor, and he knelt down in a puddle on the roof terrace and proposed to me and it was, mm. Mm. it was beautiful. The actual wedding day itself was just a, a beautiful, perfect day. It was wonderful. We did it in a hotel. For me, it was cool being a military guy because it's where Oliver Cromwell stayed the night before the last battle that ended, you know, that war, which is a big factor for our, us as an American. Um, I did it because it was near my parents' home. It was in the Cotswolds. Which she loves. Ligon arms. Just beautiful. The day was perfect in every respect. And then at night after everything was over and everybody was sitting around the fireplace drinking and talking, there was a nice, beautiful snowfall Snows. that came down and it just, it was an amazing day. We have the most beautiful little frog in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I think the secret to our successful marriage thus far is communication is key. I think that's yeah. down to everybody. Mm. Um, you have to be able to communicate. For us personally, it is timetabling free time mm. as if it were work. You have to timetable time together in the same country. And um, a damn good sex life and mm. true love. Mm.